in 2018 on Roblox. Chris, are you there? Hello? This is important, Chris. I have to tell you something. Oh, dear, he's offline. Chris, I need you to be online now. Oh no. 15 minutes later. Huh? There was someone texted me? But why can't I know who that is? I need to check the friend list. An account has been removed from my list. It's Samuel. Samuel, where did you go? Her account has been locked. Why did she do that? I don't know what she is trying to tell me. Six years later. On Roblox. Oh wow, it's been a long time since I played Roblox. My account is still active. I remember when I used to spend way too much of my time here. Lol, those were good times though haha. Hum, old messages? I can't believe I used to actually use Roblox to text people. Wait Chris, oh my god. He was my best friend back in 2018. I wonder if he still plays this game. I really miss him. He's online right now. Maybe I should join him. It's nice to see him again. <laughs> In Obby. And then that girl leans on my shoulder. But I stepped aside, and she fell. Oh my god, it's be so awkward, haha. <laughs> what the hell? What is it? Nothing, just some random friend joining me. Maybe I accidentally added friends with her, lol. Does he not remember me? Chris. Babe, Chris, why is a 2018 girl calling your name? Trust me, I have no clue. Chris, do you remember me? Um, yes. Really? No, haha. Oh, it's me. It's Samuel. I was your best friend back in 2018. Girl. Huh? Babe, let's just get out of here. Yeah, I'll meet you in the group chat. Okay. Samuel, is this really you? Yes, Chris. It's me. Okay. What? What? Nothing. I just thought you'd be more excited to see me. Hmm, maybe you should lower your expectation? Oh, I'm okay. I guess. Look, I don't know what you want to tell me, Samuel. It's been almost six years since you left, and you never even said why you just disappeared. I was so confused and mad when being left like that. But if you want, I could add you to my group chat. And maybe we can be closer again. But I don't think it can ever be the same, sorry. Sure, I can join the group. Okay, wait me. In the group chat. You should have seen it with your own eyes, Leroy. She was so pathetic, Lamal. Babe, what took you so long? How'd it go with the 2018 chick? Yeah, about that. I'm going to add her here. Oh, you know her? Yeah, I think so. If I don't, I'll just kick her. Wendy, you're finally online. Only because you guys can't shut up for four hours. But anyways, what's going on? Is there any drama? Chris thinks he knows a 2018 girl. And he's gonna add her to the group chat. Hum, that's something. Whatever, I'm adding her now. Sure, I don't care. Hi everyone. So awkward. Um, hello? Okay, let's not be rude to her. Everyone introduce yourselves, please. Alex, Chris's girlfriend. Wendy, most famous girl in the world. Hi, I'm Leroy. And y'all already know me. And here is her turn. Alex, be nice please. Hi, I'm Samuel. Nice to meet you all. But I think I will go offline a little bit. God, she is so obnoxious. Alex, can you not just be nice for one second? All of you. You weren't talking to her either. Wait me, mom is calling me for something. I don't like her. Me neither, lol. And the avatar is so out of fashion. Guys, come on. Maybe you should be nicer to her. She seems sweet. She just says hi to us. How do you know she's sweet? God, you sound like Chris. Shut up. Maybe he totally does, haha. I'm back. What were you talking about? We were talking about her avatar. She should change. For real. It's so outdated. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm so nervous when I meet them. I need to be more confident. They're friends. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh, Shy Girl is back. I'm sorry. Samuel. Yes, Chris? We were talking that maybe it's time you should change your avatar. Oh, okay. 
I will go change. Watch it look like absolute T. Come on, be nice, please. Leroy, you're so quiet. I'm still listening and watching. Oh, okay. Is this good enough? Oh my freaking god, what the heck is this? Wendy, be calm. I'm a good person, I swear. Girl, the goal was to make it better, and she did. This is actually killing me. Oh my god. I need to wask my eyes. This is so disaster. For Jesus' life, Wendy, just leave her alone. Bro, just look at her outfit. She's a laughing stock. Sorry, I don't really have any Robux left. So I just used the stuff I already had. I can give you some Robux here. Thank you so much, Chris. I will go change my avatar again. Some Robux, huh? What? 30,000 Robux is some Robux. That's a lot. Come on, girls do shopping and buy a lot of things. She'll use it more than me. Or maybe she's just using you. She's not that kind of person. Tada, you guys love it. Um, hello? Need comments. First, I need a shovel. Second, I need to dig a spot and lay down there. Wendy, stop. I find it nice. Fine, maybe my style different from hers. Ha ha ha, thank you. It's really cute. Okay, so do you wanna play games? I like that, let's play. Join me in Mimic. In Mimic. <laughs> I'm not going first. Well, I'm not either. You're so coward. How am I a coward when you're like that too? I'm a girl and you're a boy. Of course, you have to go first. You go first, Samuel. There is no way in hell that I'm going first. The place scared the crap out of me. Leroy, you go. Okay, fine. Y'all are coward. So he's really brave. But hell no, I'm leaving here. Wendy, do not leave me here alone. Waiting for me. Come on, scaredy cat. It's just a game. Yeah, a game could give me a heart attack. Fine, I'll go then. Um, just stay here. Can we talk for a sec? Before anyone knows we're not playing the game? Oh sure, what's up? When you left me in 2018. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I tried to tell you why I had to leave but, never mind. You can tell me, I'm here for you. It's actually not even a big deal. Just tell me what happened. Do you want to play something else? Yes, let's play. Um, Samuel, hello. Why do you stop saying? Sorry, I'm here now. My mom just talked to me. She's mad at me. Why? She thinks you're old man and wants to approach me. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Why does she think that? She said she would take my iPad away if I continue to talk to you. Oh no. Don't worry, I will still be your friend. I don't care what she says. You are my best buddy. Pinky promise? Yes, Pinky promise. That was a lie. What? What really happened? I'm telling you now. Dang it. Mom makes me delete Roblox account forever. How can I tell Chris now? He will be so so sad that I'm not here. What are you doing, Samuel? Nothing, Mom. You play that game again, don't you? Do you understand that on the game you can use voice changer? So instead of that child, he can be the old man. You have to aware of that. Don't be fooled. Yes, I know. I am very aware. And I can tell that Chris isn't an old man. So yeah, like I said, it's not a big deal. Why didn't you tell me? For some reasons, I found it was kind of embarrassing. But you left me without saying anything. And when I want to check your profile, it wasn't available. My mom found out and she deleted Roblox. When I was trying to tell you what was happening, I was talking to you from my mom's computer. She deleted the account before I could finish. Oh, so that is the reason. Babe. We were looking for you guys everywhere. Sorry, we took a wrong turn and we lost. It's so dark so it took us a while. Oh, that's okay. You simp. Shut up, Wendy. You're here with her alone, Chris. Are you cheating on me? What? Well, you two are so close. Do you still love me? Alex Buns, don't be so ridiculous like that. Of course I do love you. 
So then why are you suddenly treating me different? What? I don't treat you any differently. Whatever. No, wait. Just let me explain. Alex. Well, that was something unexpected. Back to the group chat. Alex, listen to me. I'm not cheating on you with Samuel. You are inferring things that are not real. You're spending time with her more than with me. You're totally going behind my back to be with her. True. I'm on your side, girl. What the fart, Wendy? Shut up and let us talk. This is not something for you to meddle in. Do not talk to her like that. Look who's back. What were you two up to? Are you planning on flirting with Leroy too? We were just talking. It's nothing like you said. Face reveal. What? Um, Everyone does a face reveal or you're kicked out of the group. Um, can we not do? I'm not comfortable. Then we'll kick you. Alex, what's wrong with you? The decision has been made. I will go first, and then y'all do. You're slay like a queen, Alex. Stunning. That's my girl. No word can describe your beauty. I'm next. You're even hotter than Billie Eilish. You're pretty. I wish I could be half of you. So beautiful. Of course I am beautiful. But thanks anyways. Okay, me next. Dude, you're something. Okay, Samuel, you're next. Haha, <laughs> you're done. Show us your face. Um, can you do it first, Chris? Fine, save her for the last. Chris, you do now. Well, okay. Bro, I'm about to turn gay for you. Turn it. I would like to see two boys kiss. You know, I'm having my prettiest girl here. Chill, just a joke. Enough joking. Now for the best part. Um, my eye. What? I can't hear you. Or are you too ugly to show it? I'm sorry. I'm just insecure about how I look. God, get over yourself. Show us or we're kicking you. Alex, just calm down first. Okay, okay. Here is how I look. Wow. wow. Actually, you're that cute. So fact. Yeah, I admitted that, not gonna lie. Regular. If she's regular, you're nothing, Alex. Thank you, but Alex is pretty too. I don't want your compliment. Chris, private chat with me now. In private chat. You just complimented Samuel. Um, isn't she? Wow, for real? You're too close with her, Chris. Come on, we haven't seen each other since 2018. You're so into her, Chris. Choose. Choose what? It's me or her choose. This is absurd. Why do I have to choose? This shouldn't be a hard choice, Chris. She's my best friend. She's more like a snake. She's not. Don't assume her like that. You never meet her. Don't start with this girl. Best friend, Chris. What? Girls only become your best friend when they want to get closer to you. My god, just leave it be. Okay. Congrats. Congrats what? On being ducking single. Okay, fine, fine. I will block her. Good to hear. In private chat with Samuel. Oh, hey, Chris. You're done talking to Alex. Anyways, I'm sorry. Huh? Hello? Where are you? You can't send this message. What? He's blocking me? You can't send this message. I'll check the group chat. You can't send this message. Guys, what is this prank? It's not funny. I will ask Leroy. Leroy, I need to talk to you. Hey Samuel, I knew you'd want to meet me anyway. Chris said you wanted to leave the group chat, cause you weren't comfortable in it. That's a lie. I didn't say it. Chris messaged me saying sorry. And then he blocked me and the group chat too. Oh dang, sorry to hear that. But why did he do that? My guess would probably be something to do with Alex. Oh, so are you going to block me then? Why would I? Just let me go to the group chat and figure out. Maybe I can hear something, okay? Thank you. In the group chat. Thank you for getting rid of her, babe. Anything for you, princess? You have no idea how much this means to me. You two are full of crap. Excuse, Excuse me? me? Shut up. Don't you dare talk to her like that, bro. But why did you suddenly act like that? Did something happen? Why did you block Samuel? and kick her out of the group chat too? I already told you, she left herself and I didn't block her. Look, she was all over my boyfriend. She isn't even into you, so stop defending her. She didn't care about you, get over it. 
Chris, I just want you to know Alex is a pick-me girl. She thinks she's the center of everything, she's delusional. Think about it. Leroy, always simp for some strange girl. I shouldn't have listened to you. What? You always told me what to do. Do this Chris, do that Chris. You always control my life and I can't stand it anymore. Samuel didn't deserve to be blocked. I should have blocked you, instead. No, baby listen to me. You're being manipulated. Just in case you didn't get yourself clear, we're over. Over get it? Now get the fart out of my life. I had you enough. Chris blocked Alex. In the group chat. Bro, I listened to you. You're right. I blocked Alex and broke up with her. Now that my bro I know, I'm glad you did it. Chris added Samuel back to the group chat. Oh, I'm back. Hey, what did I miss? What's the drama? You missed the whole thing, I ain't gonna tell you. Samuel, I'm sorry for blocking you. Shut up, you dumb. Wow, slay. Can we talk, Samuel? No. Leroy, can you tell Samuel I'm sorry? Chris says he's sorry. Tell him to shut up. Samuel says shut up. Tell Samuel to stop being childish and talk to me. Ugh, my throat is completely dry. I need him something, um. Fine, I'll buy Grimace Shake. Ah, uh, never mind. I will tell whether you hear me or not, Samuel. I'm sorry for everything. I already broke up with my girlfriend. She's a toxic and insecure. She always wants to control everything. I should have listened to you from the beginning. Okay enough. I forgive you. Thank you. You're my best girlfriend ever. Wow, what a drama. Samuel, can we talk in private? Yes, sure. Oh, somebody is about to kiss. In private chat. So what's up? I like you, Samuel. Be my girlfriend. Oh. What's wrong? You don't feel the same? No, it's not like that. I do like you. This isn't about what happened with Chris and Alex, is it? I just don't want us turn into them. You can trust me. We won't be like them. I I. If you're not ready, I'll wait for you. It's okay, though. No, I want you to be mine. I agree to be your girlfriend. Cool. Let's go and tell them. In the group chat. How's thing going, lovebirds? Wendy. What? I'm being serious. We're a couple now. Yes, we're in love each other. <laughs> yes, congratulations, Leroy and Samuel. Happy for you two. No longer after that, Chris and Wendy become a couple too and four of them live happily together. The end. Luke is a boy who grew in a rich family. He loves to show off how rich his family is and has the arrogance of always thinking of himself as the best. Hey all of you, I invite you guys here to have a pool party, not sitting there and gossiping. Look at him, he thought we wanted to come here and played with him. Yeah, right. Why did we come here just to please him? Come on, don't you guys listen to what I said? Um, it's so sunny that we want to take a break for a while. Yeah, Luke, the sun burned my skin very bad. Ugh, so pathetic. Knowing that, I didn't invite you to my house. Like we wanted it too. You just play alone. I will sit here. Yeah, I'm out of my mood. Go home. What? what? Don't you hear what I said? Go home. Okay, okay, chill. We have legs. We can go home all by ourselves. Thank you. Let's go home, guys. I'd rather swim alone than with them. The next day. Hey, Blate, wanna go swim with me after school? Yeah, okay. What's the address? No need. I know the address. You didn't invite me? Yeah, I still can hear you. Oh, um. But you guys just had a pool party at my house yesterday. Sorry, Luke. Blate and I, we have a plan for ourselves. Just only us. You can't go with us. I can't go or you don't want to invite me. You know what? Your body is so fat. And your name is weird too. Is your name named after iPhone's virtual assistant? You should ask yourself on your iPhone how to lose weight. Dude, you really shouldn't say that. Hey, that's too far. What? I find it funny, though. Okay, everyone, go back to your seat now. I know what you just said to Siri. And it's not right at all. You cannot say that to your friends, Luke. 
Whatever. I'm tired of hearing your lecture. Luke, it's very important to be kind and respectful toward others. You should think carefully when you say such words to her. It can affect people's feelings, in a bad way, of course. Why should I? There's only one person for whom I should care about their feelings, and that is me. Isn't it time for class to start? <sighs> okay. Open your book, everyone. After school. I can't believe a Bugatti is right in front of us. Haha, <laughs> ha, it's nothing. I have the exact same car at home. I will drive it to school tomorrow and show it to everyone. But are you too young to drive a car? Who cares about license? Just wait and see my amazing car tomorrow. You will be begging for a ride. Late, why are you still talking to him? It's time. Yeah, coming. At home. Hey, you're missing a place. This place hasn't been cleaned yet. I, I thought I cleaned it all up. Do you dare to argue with me? Do you want to get fired? I'm sorry. I will do it right away. I'm watching you. Mom, what are you doing? You're blocking the sun. Luke, I heard that you're planning to drive the Bugatti to school tomorrow, right? Where did you hear that? Who told you? Is that from Blate? But you don't know him. Amelia told me. She overheard your conversation between you and Blate. You don't have a license yet, so you're not going to drive. So what? I already learned how to drive from online game. I want everyone to see how rich our family is. My friends need to understand that I'm way much better than them. Honey, I understand that but it's not safe for you to drive a car without a license. If dad were still here, he would have taught me. Luke, I know you miss your father, but I will drive you tomorrow. That's the only way to make you safe. No, I will be the one drive, period. No, honey, I drive. I'm the one drive, no more discuss, mom. <sighs> I really can't tell him anymore, so stubborn. I wish you were here, Mark. Tomorrow morning. Mom, it's about to school. Can we go now? Wait me a minute. Luke, you're sitting at the wheel. Mom, I told you, I got this. I don't want to discuss about this anymore. Dang it, he's really stubborn. Okay, fine. Okay, easy. Here is the steering wheel and here is the gear pedal and brake pedal. Mom, I know all of them. Okay. Just remind you. Let's go. Okay, good. You should go at this speed. Nah, it's too slow. We can't be at school on time. I have to go it faster. What? Slow down, Luke. I don't like this. Relax, Mom. Everything is under control. Luke! Oh my god, someone calls ambulance. Call ambulance now. Well shit, I'm still f***ing alive. Woohoo! But where am I? I'm in the hospital? Mom? Where are you? Hey, why does he look like me? Why am I so blurry and invisible? Am I dead? No freaking way! Come on, why don't it work? Wake up, you stupid idiot. Just wake up. Why don't you wake up, you idiot? Come on, this cannot be happening to me. And mom, too. Mom, where are you? I have to find her. Greetings, Luke. Ah! Are you, death? Why? Why are you here? I am not dead yet. I don't want to go. You're not real. Go away. You have to accept the truth, Luke. Come with me. I will show you. This is an old woman who passed away due to poor health. She is 100 years old now. Are you here to take me to the heaven? Yes, ma'am. You already had a wonderful life with your family. Now it's time to go. Thank you for having me. Okay, you can go now. Your husband is waiting for you up there. You're next, Luke. What? What? Where does that light lead? 
to the life beyond death. Wait, please. I don't want to. I'm not ready yet. I will give you anything. I have cars, money, houses. I will give you everything. Anything. Those things are useless. Please, please. I'm begging you. I will give you a chance, Luke. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. I haven't finished yet. Stop interrupting me. I will give you a chance if you find one person to cry for you. Within seven days, you will live again. Yes, I'm back, baby. But hey, what happened to my appearance? It looks so ugly and dirty. I changed it. No one will recognize you from now on. But your unconscious body still remains at the hospital. You will have this new identity. And you will have seven days to fulfill your duty. Let's see how you did it. Ha! This is too easy. I will find mom and tell her everything. She will cry for me for sure. No one dares to take my life, even death. Mom, you're okay? It's me, Luke. A stupid man turned me into this appearance. It's so ugly and stinky. I need your help right now, Mom. Mom! Um, excuse me, who are you? You cannot be here if you're not her family's relatives. Oh, um, I'm her son, Luke. Luke, did you lie or something? Cause Luke is in a coma at the moment. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Did I say Luke? I mean Lucas. I'm her second son. So what happened to her? She had a car accident a day ago. Her head was injured. Now she's in a vegetative state. I'm sorry for telling you this. What the hell? Did you just imply that my mother is a vegetable? Oh, that is not what I mean. Your mom is in a vegetative state. Meaning she has sustained brain damage. And might not wake up anytime soon. No, no. This cannot happen right now. You gotta wake her up. I'm sorry. No matter what I do, she won't wake up. Mom! Please, you're my best chance at getting someone to cry for me. Kid, I don't know what you're talking about, but it's time we take care of her. You should go home. <sighs> I will see you later, Mom. At home. Where is the maid? I'm so hungry right now. Oh, um, what is her name again? Damn, I can't even remember her name. But whatever, I'll order pizza. Tomorrow? I haven't been to school for a day. I bet Blade and Siri will miss me for sure. I'm so important to them. They will cry for me. Hey. Do you know why Luke hasn't been to school yesterday? Maybe he is flatter himself too much. He said he would show off his Bugatti's car. But he didn't even have one. Huh. But to be honest, I never really liked him that much. You always talk to him. Nah. I barely talk to him. He's always showing off his stuff. Like he's better than us or something. Yeah, I know, right? He never seems to care about anyone but himself. Huh? What was that? Who? Who are you referring to? Um, nothing. I thought I saw Luke for a second. I guess it's not him. There's no way in his afterlife he wore those dirty clothes. Maybe you saw a beggar. Come on, let's go to the class. I can't believe they feel this way about me. I, I, who cares about them? I will ask someone else to cry for me. The maid will cry for me. We were close. She must feel terrible about the accident. Um, where are you going? Who are you? Does it have anything to do with you? Um, I'm a friend of Luke. I guess you know that he was in a car accident. He really needs your help. Can you cry a few tears for him? Um. I don't care about him. He has always treated me badly and spoken rudely about me. I always try to do my job well, but he always criticized me, made me work all day long. So if he wants my help, I guess you asked the wrong person. I'd rather cry for the mother. She treated me well and paid me the salary, but now she is in vegetative state. No one pays my salary. I have to find another job now. Um. Why does anyone help me? Seem like you don't have anyone loves you except your mom, right? Oh, it's you. I never thought people around me would hate me that much. What am I supposed to do now? It's only six days left. 
You have to change your personality. You have to make everyone around you love you again. What are you doing? I just help you. Help me? I don't see any differences. You should go to class now. Why should I go there? My friends hate me. You're in a new identity. They won't know you. Go now or you won't have any chances. Okay, okay. Everyone, please welcome our new classmate. New classmate? They really don't recognize me. Hey there, buddy. Everyone, be kind to our new friend, okay? Of course, teacher. Only Luke makes us uncomfortable. Come and sit with us, friend. Oh, oh, um, okay. We will get along with him after the lesson ends, okay? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. After the lesson. Hey there, bro. What's your name? I'm Blade, and this Siri. I'm Siri, but I'm not the iPhone's virtual assistant. A lot of people mistake it. Oh. But to be honest, I never really liked him that much. You always talk to him. Nah, I barely talk to him. He's always showing off his stuff. Like he's better than us or something. Yeah, I know, right? He never seems to care about anyone but himself. Bro, hey, you there. Oh, um, I'm Lucas. Nice to meet y'all. Cool, seem like you're a nice guy. Oh, okay, but um, I noticed you said earlier. What was it again? Luke, um, makes us uncomfortable? Oh, his name is Luke. He is an arrogant person. Yeah, he always showed off everything he got. It's like he's the center of everything. In general, we don't like him. So, um, is he here? Strangely, he hasn't been to school today. He's been absent for two days now. But why are we even talking about him? Ignore him. Wanna play something together, Lucas? Yeah, sure. You're always welcome to join us. You are our friends now. Really? Thank you so much. At lunch. Wow, I don't know the food here is so delicious. It's been like years I haven't eaten such good meal like this. You really have a good sense of humor, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I'm just trying to be more friendly and kind. Yeah, unlike Luke, he's rude all the time. Um, can we not talk about him here? Today was beyond my imagination, Mom. You can't believe what just happened at school. I had a fun time with my friends. We talked, we laughed a lot. I have never been like this before. So if you can hear this, I just want you to know that. Is there any sign that you can know? I promise I will be a good kid for you. I will take care of you every day, Mom. Huh? What are you doing here? Please, don't take my mom away. She's not dead yet. Relax, I'm not here to take her away. So what is your presence here? You have started to know how to behave well with your friends. Keep that up, and maybe one of your friends will cry for you. The clock is still ticking, Luke. Thank, thank you. Tomorrow will remain five days left. Luke also had a fun time with his friends. Their friendship grew stronger, but his friends still don't know he was in the hospital. Luke doesn't know how to explain that he needs someone cry for him, so he can come back to life. Three days remains. Have anyone heard the news about the guy Luke? I heard he had a car accident on the day. He was about to show off his Bugatti. He made himself and his mom in a coma. I don't know and I don't care. Um, shouldn't we visit them? Why? He's not our friend. All I should care now is my delicious food. Bro, why did you eat so much today? I don't know why I'm so hungry today. I need to fulfill my stomach. Haha, -ha, you're already so fat, Siri. What? what? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Blate, do you find those words familiar? Someone used to say that a lot. You sounded exactly like him, Lucas. What? No, I'm not like him. Of course, you're not Luke. You're nothing like him. The past three days have been my happiest three days. I'm afraid when he comes back, he'll be rude to us like he used to. What if he changed into a better person? Would you guy accept him? No, we'd still hate him no matter what. Something will never change. Someone will never change. I heard that he doesn't have a dad. 
Maybe that's why no one taught him how to behave the right way. Oh. What's wrong, Lucas? It's nothing. I will go to the restroom for a while. Damn you, Luke. Why did you treat your friends like that? They all hate you. Do you know that? Where can I find a friend to cry for myself now? You stupid idiot. Ouch. That affected on me too. <sighs> Mom, can you wake up? I need to hear your voice. Mom, I'm sorry. I feel regret now. I have caused so much pain to the people around me, including you. Maybe I don't deserve a second chance after all. Luke, only three days left. I know, I know. I'm trying my best now, but I think... Think what? I don't deserve this second chance. You what? Wait, wait, wait. I brought you back to life to do the right things. And now you said you didn't deserve it. Gosh dang, you even made death upset with you. What do I suppose to do now? You must try harder, of course. I see you haven't tried enough. Make them love you for every fault you did to them. I will be back on the last day. I'm looking forward for the tears. Um, Lucas, what are you doing here? Oh, Miss Amelia. Are you her relative? Um, actually, I'm Luke, but I'm in new identity. Huh? What do you mean? Luke explained everything to her, but it seemed very hard for her to believe the story. It's really hard to believe, Lou, but I still recognize from your personality. It is really you, Luke. Thank you for understanding me, Miss Amelia. Have you told Siri and Blade come to see me? In fact, they knew right from the beginning. I told them. Everyone, Luke had a car accident and now he was in hospital. We should have a day off to visit him, okay? No, no teacher. teacher. Why should we care about him? He's a rude person, always cares no one but himself. We won't go visit him teacher. I'm tired of hearing all of this. I know my fault now. I can tell them about all this. No, they won't believe you. They already hate me and won't involve me. I should be the one tell them. Okay, I won't interfere further. On the last day. Luke, why haven't you said anything to them? I'm sorry, I don't have enough courage. Um, can you do me a favor? Of course, anything you want. Can you pass this letter to them? But... Please? Okay. <sighs> Thank you, Miss Amelia. Thank you for everything. Mom, I'm sorry for being a terrible son, but you still treated me nicely no matter what. You're the best mom I have ever had. We meet again, Luke. It's your last day. Time's up. Did you get anyone's tears? I still haven't done anything. I'm giving up. Even if I return to my life, nothing will change. My friends still hate me, and my mom is still in a coma. Why did you give me a second chance? Everyone deserves a second chance to redo their lives. I guess I fail you this time. Luckily, we have a substitute teacher today. I wonder where Ms. Amelia is. I'm here, kids. Oh, oh Ms. Ms. Amelia. Amelia. I have something important to tell you. What is this? A letter from Luke. Oh. oh. Oh, he finally woke up from a coma, huh? But we actually don't care that much, miss. I thought something was really important. A letter from him, or something related to him, is never on my mind. You two really need to read it. Come on, I think he put all his heart into writing that letter to you guys. It just takes a moment. Hey Siri and Blate, my good friends. He ain't my good friends. Just read all the letter first, Siri. I'm writing this letter to particularly you two because I want to say sorry for everything. My words, my actions to you before, and it's totally suck. 
Lately, I have been looking back at myself and I regretted it. I'm really truly sorry for that. Thank you for still being my friends, still talking to me even I don't deserve a respond. I wanted to tell you that I won't be coming back to school. I will go somewhere else you guys won't have to see my face ever again, I promise. I don't deserve your forgiveness, but I still want to apologize. You guys are the best friends I ever had in my life. Hope you guys can meet someone better than me. See ya, your friends, Luke. Oh dear, don't tell me that he's gonna. Ms. Amelia, is he still in the hospital right now? Yes, he's still in the hospital. You didn't fail me this time, young boy. I did see that you changed. You became a better person. Giving you this second chance was the last thing I could do for you. And now it's time for you to let everything behind. Of course, I have no regret about it. I'm ready now. Mom, I love you. I will see you in another life. <laughs> What was that? It's your mom's cry. Mom? Your mom is crying for you. <laughs> Day seven is not over yet. It still counts for you. You made a person cry for you. I will send you back to your body now. Really? Thank you. My mission's here done now. Huh? Guys? Miss Amelia? What are you doing here? Luke, Luke you're, you're awake. awake. We have read your letter, dude. We came here as fast as we could. Leave him space, kids. You're choking him. Yeah, we all thought you were about to leave us soon. Ignore all the times you were rude to us. You also did good things for the common good for us. You always throw parties for us always proposed to have camping trips and many other things. We just realized it now. You're a generous friend. Thank you, guys. Friends again? Friends, friends again. again. Thank you for giving me a second chance. I won't let you guys down. Yay! Will you guys give your friends a second chance to change them again? The end.